O'Malley, former governor of Maryland, has only 2% of the vote for president right now. He promotes clean energy, pro-immigration reform, and the end of college debt. But tonight, political experts say O'Malley has to shine or resign. I was certainly equipped now while I could. Today in downtown Salisbury, voters are not in favor of O'Malley. I think that O'Malley, with his business um, policies, kind of hurt Maryland. So I, I feel like that won't transfer over very well in his presidency. Salisbury Mayor Jim Iredin says while it is gratifying to have someone from Maryland in the running, he will be watching the debate tonight looking for who to support. As for why others are watching... Interesting tonight to see, the, uh, see if the Democrats actually attack the Republicans and, and not actually go after one another. See how they're going to um, proceed with uh, this student loan, student loan tra like tragedy that we have in this country. In case Joe Biden decides to throw himself into the race and onto tonight's stage, CNN will have a podium ready. Chair of Sussex County Democrats Mitch Crane explains why Biden should not show up. He has not had, but had an opportunity, as far as we know, to prepare for this debate, and it would also be, I think, discourteous if he just suddenly flew in there and appeared on the stage. If he decides to run, it'll be on his time. Crane explained to me inside today that it makes more sense for Joe Biden to hold off in jumping into this race until he sees how Hillary does in the first two primaries. I'm Allie Rosen, WRDE Delmarva's own NBC station.